Hello and welcome to this PSS Syncal demo. In this demo we'll be presenting step by step how you can create, edit and calculate electrical networks to familiarize you with PSS Syncal's numerous functions. In working with networks the first step is creation. Click File, New, which opens the new dialog box where you can select the network type. In this example, we will select electrical for creating an electrical network. But PSS Incal also supports water, gas and heating cooling networks. Click the next button to preset characteristics of the new network. In this dialog box, it is possible to select an existing XML file as the workspace for the new network. PSS Syncal will then use the settings for page size, scale and inscription scope from this workspace. You can even determine the type of drawing used for the network and their unit and size. When finished, click the Finish button to generate the new network and prepare it for the graphics editor. When the new network is closed or saved, the user has to assign a name and storage location. Click File, Save to save the network. For a new network, this opens the dialog box Save As. You can choose the directory to store the network in as well as a name. This file is then saved as a .syn file. Now that we've created a file, it's time to create our network. In PSS Syncal, all network elements must be assigned to an electrical subnetwork. PSS Syncal creates the subnetwork with the network level. To create the network level, click Insert Network Level. Then click New to create a new network level and edit this new entry on the right hand side of the dialog box. A new network level, medium voltage, with 20 kV rated voltage and operating voltage is now added. Click OK to display the network level in the network. Start creating a network by defining nodes or bus bars. One way to insert network elements is through the sliding toolbox. Here, busbars can be selected by clicking on the busbar button. A busbar can be drawn by left clicking and holding before clicking to create the second point. At this point, a data input form with the network data for this network element appears. Here, the network data can be edited. In this way, a second busbar can also be drawn. A line can now be added to connect the bus bars. PSS Syncal starts highlighting the elements that can be connected to the line as the mouse cursor passes over them. Left click to start creating a line. Draw the line by holding the mouse button and using PSS Syncal's rubber banding function. After connecting a line, a dialog box appears where the network data of the line can be entered. Notice that PSS Syncal has automatically recognized the start and end nodes, as well as the network level. An infeeder and a load can now be added to complete the simple network. Graphics characteristics such as color, fill patterns, line width, etc. and network data for an element can also be edited any time later. To access the graphics editor, place the pointer over the desired element and click the right mouse button and select Format to open the pop-up menu. To illustrate how this function works, the line color of the generator is changed from black to red. And the line width made from 1 to 3. Click OK to close the dialog box. And PSS Syncal applies the setting to the network element. To start calculations, click the desired calculation method in the Calculate menu. 
PSA SYNCAR then displays a message box showing the calculation status. Click Cancel to stop calculations at any time. If there were no errors in the simulation, PSA SYNCAR displays the load flow results in the network diagram. To summarize, in this demo, we've seen the creation of a simple electrical network in PSS SYNCAL. We've seen some of the numerous capabilities of the graphics editor and performed a load flow calculation.